Hello and welcome to Game Night News. I'm your host Sean D. Knight and this is your PC Gaming News for Monday, March 20th, 2017. Our first story for tonight, developer Behavior Interactive have announced that the free-to-play model for its massively multiplayer shooter Warhammer 40,000 Eternal Crusade has been expanded. The original free-to-play concept for the game would have limited to the Orcs faction, but the new version will allow players access to all the factions and four of the five classes. However, character progression for the free-to-play version will be done at a reduced rate compared to the paid version, with the option to upgrade a player's account by purchasing 10,000 in-game credits. Explaining why the developer expanded its free-to-play option, Warhammer 40k Eternal Crusade senior producer Nathan Richardson said, quote, To be brutally honest, we wanted more people to shoot at and try out the game before investing their time and money, and this is part of that strategy. In our tests on pricing and positioning, people wanted more options, so we adapt and deliver, end quote. Aside from the free-to-play edition, there are two other editions for Warhammer 40,000 Eternal Crusade. The Squadron Edition, which will cost $20, will include the full game with 10,000 Rogue Trader credits, with progression occurring at three times the normal or reduced rate of the free-to-play version. Then there is the Imperium Edition for $50, which includes the full game, 20,000 credits, four packs of weapons and armor, and three times faster progression rate. Warhammer 40,000 Eternal Crusade is currently available on Steam Platform. A free playable demo has been released for turn-based strategy game Sid Meier Civilization VI. The demo will allow consumers to play as China, led by Qin Shi Huan, for up to the first 60 turns of the game. The demo will also include the tutorial from the full game as a way to introduce newcomers to the franchise. Sid Meier Civilization VI is currently available on PC, Mac, and Linux platforms for $60. Star Citizen will not support DirectX 12 and will opt to support Kronos' Vulkan API, according to a forum post from Star Citizen Director of Graphics Engineering, Ali Brown. Originally, developer Cloud Imperium Games had intended to support DirectX 12, Microsoft's API. However, according to Brown, that decision was changed due to the introduction of Vulkan, which, quote, has the same feature set and performance advantages, This seemed a much more logical rendering API to use as it doesn't force our users to upgrade to Windows 10 and opens the door for a single graphics API that could be used on all Windows 7, 8, 10, and Linux, end quote. Brown goes on to say that the developer's intention will be to only support Vulkan and, quote, eventually drop support for DirectX 11 as this shouldn't affect any of our backers, end quote. The revelation that Star Citizen is dropping support of DirectX 12 for Vulkan is the second recent change to the game's backend, following the announcement that the game would switch from Crytek's game engine, CryEngine, for Amazon's Lumberyard back in December of last year. A new 30-second teaser video has been released for Sacred Fire, a narrative-based RPG which has recently launched on Kickstarter. It is being developed by Poetic Studios and is set in ancient Scotland, where players will lead a band of resistance fighters against the Roman Empire. The game features cinematic art style coupled with its turn-based gameplay where players will be able to resolve conflicts with a combination of smarts, skills, looks, or empathy using the developer's custom emotions and motivation storytelling platform. Sacred Fire is expected to be released spring 2018 for the PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One platforms. A link to its Kickstarter page will be provided in the video description below. A medieval tabletop-inspired real-time strategy game called War Tile has launched on Steam Early Access. Developed by Playwood Project, War Tile's gameplay takes place on digital dioramas with miniature figurines battling it out. Currently, the Viking Conquest campaign will be available as players collect and lead a group of Viking warriors through a collection of battle boards while relying on their deck of godly and tactical cards to help them gain the upper hand on the playing field. The game will also feature quest-oriented multiplayer matches and competitive matches while allowing consumers to customize their units with weapons, armor, and new abilities which can be found throughout the game. War Tile is currently available through Steam Early Access for $19.99, though it is on sale for $17.99 until March 24th. Our final story for tonight, developer EGR Games has announced the release of its point-and-click adventure game Lemuria Lost in Space. 
The game's story revolves around the Lemuria 7 spaceship, which has been missing for over 70 years. The ship has returned back to the solar system without a crew, and players will need to discover what happened to the crew and why the ship has returned in a damaged state with over 100 rooms to explore. Lemuria Lost in Space is available on Steam for $11.99 with a playable demo for those wishing to try the game first. And that is your news for Monday, March 20th, 2017. I'm your host, Sean D. Knight, and this was Game Night News, your source for the latest news in the video game industry. Good night, and good gaming.